raining, but it's amazing. <laughs> amazing views. Mabuha, Akopaso, Zolane Frank, Mula, Sa, Trinidad and Tobago, Mahuko, Kayo. Hi there, my name is Aristotle Bossi, proud Filipino traveling the world, and I welcome you to Trinidad and Tobago. For this last series of my Trinidad and Tobago vlogs, it's time to free your mind and explore the underwater world of the beautiful Buko Reef. Board a large covered glass bottom boat that allows you to see the colorful fish and coral formations of the reef through a glass. Alright, so we're gonna start with the wrong brown corals looking like potatoes down there. Right, so those are what you call the stone stars or the Montana star coral. Local name, aloo potato coral. Right, that coral takes like 10 years to grow an inch. Right, so while snorkeling, we want no one standing on these corals or touching these corals, okay? Also, you see the white stuff between the corals looking like snow? Mm -hmm. That's what you call sand. Right, but that's not the same sand back at the beach. That's all decomposed coral, crushed up coral. So you see for the ladies when you get to an island pool and you take that sun and exfoliate your skin, you don't have to go to a spa like six months again. Mm. Alright? Also we have the brown leaf waving plants, waving from time to time. Those are what you call the seabirds or the Bukonian mm. plant. Look how you know dead man fingers. Why you see when they are green color, they are sleeping. When they are brown in color, they are weak. Right? So if you're swimming too close to it, it's gonna squeeze the life out of you. No, it's only a joke for the folks who wasn't listening. <laughs> right? So those only move with the flow of the current. If they have no current, it would stay still. Also, we have the orange one with the white tips. Orange one with the white tips, those are what you call the fire coral or the stinging coral. Say if you get in contact with that coral, it's gonna be like 10 different languages. Right, that one like so like an acid onto your skin, that one can burn and bless your parts of your skin for like 10 to 15 minutes. So while snorkeling, stay away from the orange one with the white tips. Also, we have a mustard tube coral with a hole on top, looking like a tube. That one is what you call the tube or the pipe sponge coral. That one is like a filter for the reef. That one takes like five gallons of water per day to survive down there. Enjoy the soothing ride along the picturesque coasts. The breeze is truly refreshing. You can see angelfish, parrotfish, butterflyfish, and many other fish. Marvel at the brightly colored plants and sea shrubs in the lush coral gardens where you will find both hard and soft coral species. Yeah, man. <laughs> I have some interesting trivia for you guys. Did you know that there is a swimming pool in the middle of the ocean? The nylon pool is a natural meter deep crystal clear swimming pool with a sandy bottom in the middle of the sea created by an offshore sandbar and a still lagoon. Nylon pool is an inch sea shallow wide ground coral pool 
that is located off of Pigeon Point, Tobago and is only accessible by boat. Its name is derived from its resemblance to a swimming pool. It is close to the Buko Reef, a protected area full of coral reefs. And get this, it was named by Princess Margaret in 1962. It is also one of Trinidad and Tobago's most visited attractions. my Tobago trip. I am on my way back to Trinidad, the main island, uh, specifically Port of Spain. So instead of waiting for like a standby for the plane, I figured I'd just do another way, another method, which is through ferry. So it will take me two and a half hours to get from Scarborough, which is the capital of Tobago, to Port of Spain in Trinidad. So I'm gonna get, um, so I'm gonna, so I'm gonna ride this ferry right here, if you can see. So the trip so far has been amazing. I mean, it's Memorial Weekend today. I mean, I mean it's Memorial Day holiday today. So, you know, that quick Caribbean getaway is always a good idea. And so I figured, okay, I'll just go on a Caribbean country that I've never been to. And Trinidad and Tobago was the perfect country for me, considering like schedule, fares, accommodation, and tours. So I'm just so happy that I did it. I mean, Honestly, the people are very friendly. I love the vibe, the energy. It's one of those countries that I think that I'll be coming back for. And so hopefully I'll be joined by friends or family. So hopefully soon. But Trinidad and Tobago, you are amazing. going back to part of Spain and I'm seated in the premium class which is like the business class it's really nice and I got the best view for you as I sat down and reflect on this wonderful getaway in Trinidad and Tobago I can't help but be grateful for being able to travel see new places and immerse myself with different cultures. This country nourished my soul by giving me a new perspective in life. I've gone to beautiful places, met incredible people, ate sumptuous local delicacies, and saved memories that will last a lifetime. Watching the endless waters, picturesque mountains, and gorgeous sunset, we even came close to an island that is already Venezuela, where such a wonderful way to end this magnificent trip. I bring back with me what the locals will always say, in this country, you don't need much to be happy. The view is free, the people are hospitable, the landscapes are amazing. What else could you ask for? Till next time, thank you 
Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm.